luminous and non-luminous object. Let us study about luminous and non-luminous object. Luminous objects are objects that give out light of their own, such as the sun and stars. And light helps us see objects. Non-luminous objects are objects that do not give out light of their own. In this lesson, we will discuss about luminous and non-luminous object in detail. What is light? If you step inside a completely dark room, you can hardly see anything. When tube light is switched on, you can see everything present in the room. It means light helps us to see objects. Therefore, light is defined as a form of energy which makes things visible. Objects which have light of their own are called luminous objects. Sun is a natural luminous object. And tube lights are artificial man-made luminous objects. All luminous objects are sources of light. Non-luminous objects are those objects which do not emit light of their own. Moon, chair, desks, books, pens, trees, human bodies and clothes etc. are non-luminous sources. Moon is a non-luminous object, but we all know that at night moon emits light. Well, then how does it emit light? The moonlight which we actually receive is the reflected light of sun. Transparent Object Objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects. Most of the light falling upon a transparent object passes through it to the other side, thereby allowing us to see through them. Or we can say that transparent objects are capable of transmitting light so that objects or images can be seen as if there were no intervening material. Glass, clean air, pure water, are examples of transparent objects. Opaque object Objects that do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque objects. As a result, we cannot see through them. When light falls on an opaque object, its shadow is formed on the other side of it. Wood, human body, leather, sheets of metal, dark colored plastics, rocks, etc., are some examples of opaque objects. Factors affecting shape of a shadow The shape of the shadow of an object depends neither on the color of the object nor on the color of the screen. If the distance of the object from the source is decreased, then the size of the shadow increases. Provided the distance between the source and the screen is constant, maintaining the distance of the screen from the source if the object is moved away from the source, then the size of its shadow decreases. If the distance between the object and the screen is constant, and if the light source is moved towards the object, then the size of its shadow increases. On the other hand, if the distance between the object and the screen is constant, and if the light source is moved away from the object, then the size of its shadow decreases. 
पिन होल कैमरा पिन होल कैमरा इज अ लाइट प्रूफ बॉक्स विद अ स्मॉल होल ऑन वन साइड लाइट फ्रॉम एन ऑब्जेक्ट पासिस थ्रू दिस होल एंड प्रोजेक्ट एन इन्वर्टेड इमेज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द ऑपोजिट साइड ऑफ द बॉक्स लेट इस लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ पिन होल कैमरा टेक अ कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्स कट आउट अ स्क्वेर पीस फ्रॉम द मिडल ऑफ अ साइड ऑफ द बॉक्स एंड पेस्ट अ ट्रेसिंग पेपर ओवर इट पियर्स अ वेरी स्मॉल होल इन द सेंटर ऑफ द साइड ऑपोजिट टू द वन ऑन विच द ट्रेसिंग पेपर हैज बिन पेस्टेड क्लोज द बॉक्स फ्रॉम ऑल द साइड्स The pin hole camera is ready to use. You should use a piece of black cloth to cover your head and the pin hole camera. Now, holding the pin hole camera, try to look at some bright distant object from the tracing paper side. An inverted small size image of the distant object is formed on the tracing paper. The size of the image depends on the distance between the hole and the object the larger the distance between the object and the hole the smaller is the size of the image formed light travels in a straight line let us do an activity to find whether light travels along a straight line Take a piece of a flexible pipe. Fix a lighted candle on a table at one end of the room. Now, standing at the other end of the room, look at the candle through the pipe. Is the candle visible? Now, bend the pipe a little while you're looking at the candle. Try to adjust the position of bent pipe to see the candle. You will find that it is not possible now to see the candle through the bent pipe. This suggests that light travels along a straight line. Shadow and image. Shadows are formed when an opaque object is placed across the path of light. When your face is towards the sun your shadow is formed behind you When sun's rays fall on your back you see your shadow on the ground is in front of you Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light Your shadows are formed because your body does not allow the light to pass through it Shadows can be seen only on a screen. The ground, walls of a room, building and other such surfaces act as screens for shadows. Three things are required to create a shadow: a source of light, an opaque object and a screen. In the absence of any one of these three things, shadow cannot be produced. Shadows give us some information about shapes of objects. Sometimes shadows can also mislead us about the shape of the object. Difference between shadow and image. An image is what you see in a mirror. A shadow is what you see as a dark patch produced by an opaque object on the screen. It is formed in a region where there is no light shining on it. An image is formed by reflection or refraction of light. A shadow is formed by blocking light. reflection of light 
let us do an activity to understand reflection of light. This activity should be done at night or in a dark room. Set a table near a plain wall. Place a plain mirror on the table, keeping its shining surface upward. Direct a pencil torch beam onto the mirror in such a way that a patch of light is produced on the wall behind the table. Now, by adjusting the position of the torch, try to move the bright spot up and down on the wall. This activity proves that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it. Such a change of direction of light by a shiny surface is called reflection of light.